Okay, so now what we're going to do is we need to check first if our order and items arrays aren't empty. So if is an empty order and is an empty items, then we're going to execute some code. Okay, first of all, we're going to instantiate a few classes. First one will be object basket equals new basket. Next one will be object catalog equals new catalog. And the third one will be object PayPal equals new PayPal. Now we haven't got PayPal class created yet. So let's uh, go to our file browser to our classes folder and let's create it now. So new file called paypal.php and we start with opening PHP talk class paypal. We're going to create a bunch of properties for this class first. So first of all, we're going to create the environment, which will be private environment. And this will equal to sandbox by default. Okay, and next will be URLs. And the first one will be private underscore URL underscore production, which will equal to, I'm going to close the file browser, HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash www.paypal.com forward slash CGI hyphen bin forward slash WEBSCR. So this is our production URL. Now the sandbox one will be private underscore URL sandbox equals, and we have between the single or double quotes, uh, HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash www.sandbox.paypal.com forward slash CGI hyphen bin forward slash WEBSCR. So these are our URLs. What, now what Sandbox is? Sandbox is basically a testing environment. If we didn't have Sandbox, obviously you would have to use production uh, environment, in which case every transaction which you would made through the website would charge your card. Obviously Sandbox allows us to create the, the virtual um, accounts and use them just basically testing whether the payments are coming through, whether the IPN goes through and all sorts of things, which we'll be learning about later on. Basically, we don't have to use our own money to test the application. So that's what the sandbox allows us to do. Okay, after this one, we uh, are creating the, the standard URL to be used basically. So private URL, which we'll be using and later on you will see what we're going to use it for. Now uh, we will create uh, the CMD, underscore CMD, which is transaction type, and we can place here X click, or which is basically for buy now buttons. Uh, actually, let's put on a new line so that we have description here. Oh, we can put uh, underscore cart, which is what we're going to be using, it's just basically for basket purposes. So we have private underscore CMD. As you can see, I'm using several different options. And this is because I'm assuming that at some point you might be using the same class which you're creating now for, let's say, buy now buttons. So why to limit yourself, obviously, to just one method if there are other uh, possibilities as well? Let's create it so that you can expand this class later on if needed. So we have private CMD. Then we'll have uh, all product array. So we have private underscore product, and it's an empty array by default. Then we have all input fields array 
private underscore fields again empty array by default then we have uh, your PayPal ID which is basically an email address to which you want to receive your money for the payments so private underscore business equals and you in here we're going to put our email address later on but for now just simply leave it blank because we haven't got uh, we haven't created uh, our account yet so if we scroll up after the business we will have page style so forward slash forward slash page style uh, we have private underscore page style equals null by default uh, 